First at five, your local election headquarters with new developments since Election Day. Democrat Paul Haro claims victory as the new sheriff for Bristol County over Republican incumbent Thomas Hodgson. The news comes today after the Hodgson camp confirmed to 12 News that he has conceded. Hodgson's held the position now for 25 years, but Haro said people are ready for a change. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez joins us with what the former mayor has planned in his new position. Joe? Yeah, this was one of the closer races in the area, and the mayor of Attleboro is the winner by less than 3,000 votes. Haro was the first challenger to run against Hodgson in 12 years, and now he says he's ready for the next step. In a tightly contested battle for Bristol County Sheriff, Mayor Paul Haro claimed victory early Wednesday morning. If that's where the voters ultimately uh, are, then we honor that. Uh, they've given me the, the honor and the privilege to serve for 25 years, and I wouldn't want to be in this position if they felt that I wasn't doing what they wanted. Earlier today, Hodgson said his team was looking over the election results, but now they tell 12 News the numbers just weren't there. Hodgson's camp said the longtime sheriff has conceded. Haro addressed the media earlier today on how he plans to bring in the right people. The worst thing that could happen for this system is I go in and think I know everything. You know, I'm a manager. You know, I'm not qualified to um, say what the right thing to do is, but I'm going to get the right people in who are qualified. Haro said he wants to listen to the institution's experts, but does expect to implement a new structure. But I'm also coming in with a mandate for change. And, you know, I won the election and the people want to see change. And so that's also me implementing that vision and using their experience to help implement that vision. Haro also discussed how he would use his political standpoint differently than his opponent. I think time could be better spent for you know Bristol County by uh, using that bully pulpit to address housing, health care and a job and rehabilitation. Haro says he is committed to no more than two terms. As for his current position as mayor, there will be a special election this in the coming months after he signs his letter of resignation. Live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News. First at six, your local election headquarters continues covering the results of yesterday's elections, including the defeat of Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson. Hodgson has been in office for 25 years, but Attleboro Mayor Paul Haro ended up the winner this morning. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez tells us about the changes Haro wants to make. Joe. Thanks, guys. Those changes include bringing in the right outside resources. Haro said that the worst thing that could possibly happen to the system is for him to go in like he knows everything. Now, during today's press conference, Haro said he believes that listening to the experts in the institution will help lead to the best transition. Paul Haro has claimed victory over longtime Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson. Well, obviously, we're disappointed based on the numbers we saw last night, um, but I've always believed that Look, it's the people's decision of what they want. Haro was the first challenger to run against Hodgson in 12 years and said he plans to ease into his new position by listening to the institutional experts on working with other resources, particularly dealing with suicides. I'm talking about outside organizations uh, willing and able and you know, qualified to work with inmates to get them set up for release. But with all the plans in mind, Haro does not plan to take immediate action with community programs already in place. You know, Hodgson has a lot of programs that are operating in the community. And so, you know, one of the things that people are worried about is I'm going to go in and just start cutting things and changing things. And that's not what I did when I became mayor. During today's press conference, Haro said he plans to stay for two terms and wants to take the same approach to this position as he did when he was appointed mayor in 2018. My job was to help them do their job better. And so, so listening to them and their institutional knowledge, but I'm also coming in with a mandate for change. As for the vacant mayor position, a special election will be held in the coming months after Haro signs his letter of resignation. And according to Hodgson's party, they have reached out to Haro to set up that phone call, but haven't received a response. Live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News.